arrived this morning to help the family of missing duck hunter Tyler Doyle. Take it slow, they're just small rollers. Yeah, they're just rollers, they're not white water. Yeah. Our biggest problem is going to be when we have to turn. This boat is perfect when you take them head on, but. some big ones. Biggest problem is going to be making that turn, and I don't think it's safe enough for us to make a turn. Just because they're so consistent. To just drive straight out, I wouldn't think twice, but. They're calling everything's too dangerous. Get out there and get back. Okay. We can't make the turn. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make that turn. If we got it, if we got it made and we got in there, we ain't coming back. Not through there anyway. All right, it's good. We're good. So we'll just travel on back, I guess. I mean, just we watch you come through and your nose is dope, dope down. Yeah, that's yeah. not even that bad. Get out there, it's worse. Yeah, because I'm missing that. Yeah. All right, man. I'm sorry I couldn't be of assistance, but maybe we could flip. No, I appreciate you coming and taking a look at it. It's really good one. Flip. Uh, Flip a day around, you know, come back, but I don't know yeah, how. Love to have you come back, man. I don't know how long you're gonna be here. Well, right to the end, you know. Okay. Yeah. You know, you know me. Yeah. I don't like to lose Sam. I don't like to lose either. Um, he's gonna fly the drone around that little area right here, and uh, he just wants to look at the other side. Yeah, oh. Josh, you see the jellyfish? Right here. Oh, man. Wow. At least they didn't have 12 foot tentacles. No, they're 120. 120, oh, 120 got my zero off. So, uh, kind of using the drone as a tool to kind of look around where we would have gone uh, trying to get around those waves uh, over to the beach side. Um, I think where we are flying over here out by the jetties is where the accident occurred. However, uh, after you know taking to the elements of, of floating, um, their search area is down over by the beach. So we took their advice on what they've been doing the last 15 days on this case. And uh, I think it was really smart that we decided to uh, wait till we have a better vessel in order to do this. Yeah. As much as I don't want to say this, um, it's it's too rough for for us to sonar and be out there. Um, we're going to have to switch days and, and try to come back on our, on our trip. Hopefully we can get back and the waters are calm. But I think that that low temperature coming in plus the, the big storm that's out at sea. Secretary, 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 hello, all stations. This is the United States Coast Guard Director Charleston, Marine Safety Broadcast.
area. Wow, that's crazy. We arrived this morning to help the family of missing duck hunter Tyler Doyle. Um, unfortunately, right now, there's a storm coming in as well as the way that the currents are shifting. We are unable to get around the jetties that are out here. We were able to get an idea, um, put eyes on where his boat went down. Um, his boat was recovered farther out, but we were able to get an idea of where his boat went down at. Um, where, uh, you know, calculations are, are putting him, we're not able to reach those spots right now. We want to first and foremost say thank you to the family for allowing us to assist them. At this point in time, with the weather coming in, with everything, we've kind of got this perfect storm preventing us from, from getting to the locations that need to be searched. Even if we were able to get out there with the waves coming in and everything, we it would skew our sonar imaging so much. And with this being such a sensitive recovery, we wanna make sure that we have the best possible conditions to search in. So with that being said, I think we are going to flip flop our schedule a little bit, go ahead and head to our next case, move it up a couple days, and then come back to this one. They are looking at Monday, Tuesday, possibly even Wednesday next week. Uh, this weather being nice and calm, it, it will almost be like glass out here. So that's the conditions that we're looking for. So in waiting for that time frame, we're gonna go ahead, move on to our next case, and then come back if Tyler still has not been located at that time. So again, thank you to the family for allowing us to help. Uh, thank you to Brad from Wings of Hope, uh, North Star, for all that they've done and you know for making sure that we were as up to date as possible and we were as prepared as possible for you know for what we were getting into with with this brackish water in the ocean and everything so Definitely. thank you to them uh, for ashley for taking us out there too sorry okay. sorry um all of the the family and friends that are are with tyler's you know family the ones who've been out here every day helping um, you know, Ashley kind of acted as our guide today and getting us out this far. Then he even went ahead farther to make sure, um, you know, to check out the point, get around the jetties to see if it was even possible. Um, he's very familiar with these waters um, and he said it's not safe. So if he's saying it's not safe, then we're trusting him. So again, we're gonna we're gonna head back to to dock and move on to our next one and then you know, flip flop some days and then come back and help next week if it were. Thanks again, guys, for your support. Love each and every one of you. Keep diving. It's not where to stop. We're going to stick another day.